semifinal number two winner gets Jacksonville. The JU Dolphins, the ninth-ranked team in the country, waiting at noon on Saturday in the championship round. And these two that have met so often with the lights this bright and the stage this large are underway once more. All right, Phil, the face-off, we just saw it going to be so critical in this one today. Both these teams outstanding in the ride game, which makes clearing some action. There are six players on this high-point roster having scored in double digits in terms of goals this year. Finds one of those. That was his 16th. We'll see if the surrounding cast can also get involved. And there's a nod to just how physical this contest should be throughout, Phil Cock, and what they were able to do in that regular season meeting. They held the, Panth the Panthers to their fewest goals in four years. Came to Vert Stadium and did that. And uh, it was uh, quite a performance by the Spiders and a nice bounce back there when uh, High Point got the early momentum with that opening goal. Don't think for a moment it's not in the forefront of the minds, not only the home fans, but everybody wearing those home colors on a night like this. Not the only time Richmond has come to Bird Stadium and made some noise. You remember the only other edition of the 50 of that contest. Now they have not held high point scoreless in this one. The early lead goes to the Panthers, who certainly have tucked that memory away in the back of their minds. 2-1 the advantage as we have the faceoff following the second of High Point's goals. Good start for the Panthers here. Not only erasing the memory of the earlier meeting, but setting the tone in front of their home fans. And here's another moment to try and do that further as High Point has command of it. Phil, this has to be the Richmond Spiders, 20 or more across the course of the season. You talk about the number of different players who have scored goals, but how about when you can stack up five with 20 or more across the course of the year? Uh, responsible, those five for the majority of the 192 goals that Richmond has scored on 571 shots this season. Just won that face off, now he goes right back. It's what we talk about all the time. As you see Dan Chimati there continuing that momentum with a face off win. And it's gonna be a big, big matchup. Chinoy going up against Hoban there in the midfield. Ellen, Richmond having done such good work coming on board taking over that role and not able to keep his balance long enough to hang on creates a ground ball scenario and high point will pounce on it to make it a 4-2 spiders lead 10 shots for high point just eight shots for richmond but how about making them count how for them finding the back of the cage thus far for the spiders phil i go back to that face-off opportunity that they were able to capitalize on that was big they off the start and you know you, you felt like that's what richmond did such a good job of earlier in the year and they've done it again here so far one of the great talents in the game and i'll go back to it you know at some point nolte's going to be a, a major factor you would think in this one and he looks to be okay now Nolte running that point total just a little bit higher as he secures his first of the day, joining Van Overbeck and Vines, who had scored the two prior for high point, making it a one-goal differential in this contest. And let's see, in this game, you feel like he's getting contributions from some different places. And Colin Cook being able to capitalize when he has the opportunity. Colin Cook taking about as he has the host school back out front. This is to take absolutely nothing away from Jacksonville because they are going to have their say on Saturday afternoon. But does this not feel like a final I, I between thinking, these two? I was thinking the same thing. You know, the only other time that they didn't play in a final when they met was in 16 up at Robin Stadium. That couple of goals to his credit already. You think about what Van Overbeck has done with a couple of goals to his credit already. Vines has been involved. Colin Cook having been in the mix, things going very well for High Point to this juncture, a 6-4 lead as we do cross over the 10-minute mark, second quarter. And you were a prophetic partner. You said it was only a matter of time before Nolting started to assert himself, and that's exactly what's happened. And, uh, as he goes, High Point goes, and it's going very well for High Point here. Who's been involved? Madonna with a goal a little bit earlier. There you see Frank Kenny's day so far. Phil, it is, like we talked about with High Point, coming from so many different directions already for Richie. It is, and you know, an early hat trick there, and Frank Kenny very much on his game tonight. Frank Kenny, the lone of the multi-goal scorers.
for Richmond. As we said, coming into this night, 35 assists to his credit already. Everything you would expect out of the all SoCon graduate team tops in terms of goal scoring, still, as we said, well behind Nolting's totals because of all those assists that he gains as a distributor. But Maya with his team best 39th goal, putting High Point back out front at 7 6 with three and change remaining in the second. Joey here. Key faceoff coming on the backside of that Richmond goal. And there you see the designation of Young as a multi goal scorer today. He scored multiple goals. Frank Kenny has done that. On the Richmond side of things, multiple goals for Nolting and the year for the Spiders in conference competition. That uh, battle they had with Jacksonville that was uh, two goal separation, 13-11 the final back on April 9th when Richmond and Jacksonville last met. So a uh, lot of engaging storylines. You said it. Whichever way, period of play, he has really come to life. As you can see, the hat trick, as I mentioned, already secured, and we showed you where he was, top 10 all time. Now going up one more notch in terms of total points that he has secured as a student athlete in this sport. He just speaks to his impact on High Point, on the Southern Conference, and on collegiate lacrosse in general. Three times Southern Conference Offensive Player of the Year. That's uh... Yeah, we haven't talked a lot about the saves numbers tonight. And it may be hard to do it right off of a goal where one is allowed, but you think about how many times it was not in that sequence and how many times it has not been throughout. There's a combined closing in on 20 saves of itself without going too far overboard and creating those man-up scenarios for the other team. That, oh, obviously a lot easier said than done, may well be the difference maker coming down the stretch here. Face off, picked up by this Richmond squad. Spiders with Dalton. One shy of 30 with the four he has poured in here. Also had 10 assists, 35 points, and 76 shots to his credit in securing those 25 prior goals. If you missed it when we talked about it earlier, he's one of five Richmond Spiders with 20 or more goals on the year. And how about the mad battle for it? Right around that high point logo in the heart. Over 15 minutes are up on the fourth quarter game. Yeah, the Jason book ending, the, of course, the very first Southern Conference tournament up in Robbins Stadium. Game that actually went to double overtime before High Point. If you're looking for a little history, three seed beat the one seed, nine to eight. That was a Southern Conference tournament. All three games, Jason, decided by one goal. What a way to get it all started. Experience right there. Not letting shot that you thought you had get you down but coming right back and the lead changes yet again. Richmond's leading scorer on the year now with a goal to his credit in this semifinal matchup. Boy, every check and every ounce is first of the night and with just under 10 minutes remaining. 10 all. In the win or go home semifinal contest at the Southern Conference Tourney. Win or go home, winner Parker Green. So Richmond back out front again. Spiders took the early fourth quarter lead. Pan at 11 apiece. That was just gorgeous, Jason. They only had th uh, just a small amount of time in the man up situation and they made the most of it that is the ninth tie of the evening critical face off in the 11 all contest 22 goals evenly divided and just 338 left to settle it you don't think this possession is key look at the scramble in there look at the scrum in which they're going to come out of with possession Back in effect at one with 107 to play. And a key faceoff for High Point in need of the equalizer in the final minute. Imperative that High Point wins this. And it is going to be scooped up by Jackson Clay. Go to Nolte, three time player of the year. Timeout with 50 